Hey, welcome to the show. It's adorable Omni Dog, and the unstoppable bar makes her return. And <clears throat> it seems the bar is always right. Bar, I you're am. always right about <laughs> everything. <laughs> Apparently, as James said, so I'm gonna take him for his word. Yeah, let's see. Uh, he went hashtag crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, what was Barr right about? And he just said everything. So I'm going to go with that. Why would I argue with anybody? I'm not. I and think I'm gonna... everyone but Josh will agree with that. <laughs> so I just have to update everyone. Not everyone follows my discord. And I have the cat who adopted us, Lily. Oh, she just turned her head. She must know her name. Lily. Hey, Lily, what are you doing? Cats aren't like dogs. She's been here for two hours and has been very uncat like clingy. She's followed me everywhere. She sat in the chair with me upstairs. I'm looking at her now. She's just, I don't know if she, I keep letting, trying to see if she wants to go back out, but she, let me share a picture here. <laughs> this cat has hops, man. Um, she jumped when I was getting dressed for the show. <laughs> she jumped to the top of my dresser, which is like five feet tall. And I'm not even kidding. Uh, window cat share. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> she jumped to the That's top so of my dresser. What are y'all going to do about it? I <laughs> Just, I mean, it's her house now. It is. <laughs> it can't really do anything. I, I've never been with, uh, I mean, I've been a dog person my whole life. So that, and, but this cat's very sweet. Uh, she's, she was uh, a rescue from our neighbor two doors down. Um, they rescued her and she's, she's just been happy to sit with me and hang out, which is very uncat like for her. She usually sniffs around uh hangs out and then you know goes out chasing squirrels or whatever so <laughs> she looks I don't so know. adorable she's very sweet so uh uh and also wait i didn't get an answer let me see you are welcome to okay yeah maybe that's supposed really to mean just give some good clickbait we can definitely talk i'm really having to... <laughs> okay so I have a hash. I, I'm sorry. I have a, a um, link that I want to share in the chat for people to go to. It is a big announcement from OmniCat. Where, wait, where is that? Oh, I had it on my phone. Okay, just a sec. I'll sh okay, hang on. Do, 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 do. I'll share the link. Oh. No, no, no. Don't talk. Don't talk. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, okay. Is that Patty? Uh, no, it was Omnicat. Oh, I oh. forgot to. She and Reed have a, a, a big announcement. And they're going to be on my show tonight on Batter Days. But here's the link in the chat. Uh, okay, there we go. Well. I'm way behind. So, um, oh, James already <laughs> put it in there. Of course. <laughs> Where'd the of cat course. Go? Oh, hey, do you want to come up here, cat? Hey, Lily. Hey, hey, cat. Come here, cat. No, don't jump. Don't jump up on there. That's <laughs> no, that's not cool. Here, come here. <laughs> she likes scratching her face on everything. And then she wanted to jump up where a bunch of statues were. Um, <laughs> uh, so I attacked the stack of shame and I read it all but here's the best thing um, uh, Bar sent me a, pre a birthday present and it part came two. with a very sorry it will open next week part two oh, oh part two okay that's very generous of you Here's, I don't know how J James did this somehow. You get asked him to order and he sent it. And here's uh, what, yeah, from Amazon. Here's what it says on it <laughs> from Amazon. 
Test Frag <laughs> Omni Dog open live on Saturday. I blanked out my address, but I might keep that label because it's cracking me up. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how James <laughs> did it. Uh, so do you want me to open it now? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Josh, I forgot to, about the slow blink thing. Uh, I'll try that. <laughs> Harvey Picar's ghost. That's good heaven. Good heavens. Okay. Everybody wants me to, Lena Sweck wants me to open it. Len, 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 Lenny. 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 Okay, Lenny. Her oh. name is Lenny. Len, oh, you've seen her before? Yeah, we know from Twitter and Reddit. Okay. So I, I'm unboxing it, but I'm also keeping my eye out for this cat because she may want out, but I don't know because. Cats don't really communicate with people. I'm trying to save this label without destroying it. That's going to be hard because the package opens right through it. Okay. Let me cut carefully through it. Okay. Okay. One thing there is a surprise. Two, Jess already knows. Open the box upside down, Jay's, Jay, uh, jo James says. Upside down? Oh, to open it without destroying the label. Well, I didn't see that until it was too late. Sorry. <laughs> the label's okay. I, can, I, I went right through uh, it, so it's okay. Oh, they're wrapped. Wow. It's a birthday gift, Jess. Wow, thank you so much. With lots of love from your Israeli correspondent. Nice. Happy birthday from the Unstoppable Bar. My Israeli correspondent. <laughs> okay. There's two whoa, there's two gifties in here. So I'll open the first one. Wait, there's also an envelope. Order and return information inside. Okay, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> Bar the sugar the sugar daddy to YouTubers. <laughs> My daughter has sent, given me ducks before, <laughs> but I haven't this seen this so Harley cute. duck. This is great. I, I love these. You don't have that one. You I have don't. A lot of Harley stuff. <laughs> this is a great gift because I love these ducks. <laughs> Come here, duck. With the mallet and everything. Right, it's so cute. I kind of want that. <laughs> uh, oh. Cute. Such a cute duck. What a great gift. Jess is here. Nice. Harley quack. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Uh, yeah. You're the one. Get all your decks <laughs> in a row, Jess. Yep. Thank you for giving me this bar. You're welcome. Now show them the rest of the gifts. This is not just that. It's, oh, there's, whoa. It's like a never ending gift box. There's another one and then there's another one. From my Israeli correspondent. This is so nice of you. Okay. I'm not gonna. There we go. Oh, my wish list gift. Thank you. I don't have this. You're welcome. 
a book that I actually really need. Thank you so much. <laughs> Will this be on your next <laughs> sex of shame? Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can do. Come on. Oh, it's not working. What's wrong with this thing? There we go. Ah, there we go. Yay, it was my birthday last week. There we go. Bar and I shared a birthday month. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. This, oh, Hellboy is a huge stack of shame. There's like 40 or 50 Hellboy books. Hmm. That's Let's like see. part of the reason why they don't read Hellboy. <laughs> yeah, I find it really two... intimidating. Yeah, I started a, a read through like in 2018 and I stopped. I was like, I, what's happening here? But I'm still collecting it because I'm insane. <laughs> and there's one more gift from Bar, which is very nice. And again, another one will arrive in the next few days. So wow. we'll open it next week. That is so nice of you. Uh, oh, I really needed this. Miss Truesdale, <laughs> ball of... In the fall of Hyperborea, Hyperborea. This is another Hellboy universe book that I need. But oh, I have it's no in Hellboy. Sorry, yeah, from the world of Hellboy. So it's oh. Hellboy-ish. It's Mignola as well, right? Yeah, he's the writer. Okay, thank you so much, Bar. That's You're really welcome. nice of you. That's so sweet of you. You also sent me some stuff, so th that's me giving it back to you. Oh, well, and I also um, got you some other stuff, but it hasn't come out yet. Some covers. <laughs> yeah, some we issues, need to talk to James. Single. <laughs> What's that? James needs, needs to be made aware. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll <laughs> be sending him. I think I told him I'll send be sending him stuff in July when it comes out. Mm. I also uh, got some... I got some cool books. This is Frank Cho. Harley's there. Oh, my God. Josh, can you get me that one? I know you like uh, Frank Cho. Please. And then, <laughs> and then I got this one. Jenny Friesen. Yeah. Wow. God, uh, I love her. And I've been collecting these tattoo variants for Birds of Prey. I've been Wait, doing a lot I... of these. Oh, I guess yeah, I should highlight works. myself. It highlighted when you blinked out. Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. There. And then this Birds of Prey. I like this one. Oh, yeah. Sucks that she won't be in this series anymore. Oh my god. Do you like this one? I did not know about this one. What issue is that? Well, you don't have to worry because I got you one. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, so all that that will be this one will be coming to you. I got you one because I thought this is so cool. Bar's gonna want it. <laughs> It's a pride. Oh, it's a women's month. Women's history month. Oh, wow. I really love that cover. <laughs> you know my taste. <laughs> right. <laughs> then I got this one. Wow. And, th and that's Jenny Friesen as well, right? Yeah. Uh, Power Girl, Power Girl, Magic. Uh, Somebody, Somebody. Uh, I got some Adam Hughes stuff that's not Harley Quinn. Is that the uh, Mary Jane and uh, yeah. yeah Black Cat series? How is that? Is that good? I, I I've don't been know. Loving the Black Cat series. I haven't been reading it, so I don't know yet. I usually wait until mm. it's come out already. This is the Adam Hughes She Hulk. If somebody in the chat knows, please let me know. I've been thinking about picking it up after Black Cat. Uh, of course, I had to get this by my personal friend, Mike Allred. Of course, we need to have some Batman. And <laughs> I've heard this was good, so I got that. 
This is by the actress that plays her. Oh, really? Yeah. And I think Freddie, uh, maybe Freddie or Max told me it was good. Somebody told me it was good. So, okay. The, I don't know where the cat is now. Oh, well, she'll let me know. Speaking of cats. Is that these. the Tini Howard series? Yeah, it's, uh, but I got them for the covers. I love yeah. David Nakayama. Honestly, the art and covers carry that series. Yeah, you're not a big Teeny Howard fan, are you? <laughs> Is it that obvious? Uh, well, I think you've told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Three eggs of this. There we go. No, I'm not a huge fan, no. That's okay. Oh, here's a Poison Ivy cover by David Nakayama. Ooh. Yeah, I, I've seen that one. What issue is that? Does it say that is issue 17 and here's issue 21. Do you do you buy uh all, all the um all the issues or just, just the, the covers the I like covers? just the covers I like? Yeah. This is issue I, 17. I so I've got some great covers. For Poison Ivy? Yeah. Yeah. There are some great covers. Like every issue at least has two covers that are stunning. Yeah, I uh, I don't. I'm gonna have to create new. Dis I'm just the, the whole rack right now is nothing but Harley Quinn. So I need to wrote. I need to make a reel of that, post it on Instagram, and then rotate it out and get something new. Can I just answer News Police Channel's uh, question? For what time second? was it? This one? Uh, yeah. What do I think about Harley and the Suicide Squad in the last uh, decade or so? I I loved um, the Rebirth series a lot. I, I actually really enjoyed that series. I have it in uh, the deluxe hardcovers. Um, and I also enjoyed the Tom Taylor series. But after Tom Taylor, like after that series that really gave Harley a, a good ending um, for her suicide squad journey i was happy that she was done with the suicide squad it also wasn't it didn't make a lot of sense with where they were universe sorry sorry did you I, did out I right blink out? yeah you yeah. just blinked out um it, it also didn't make sense with where they were taking her in the dc universe you know they were making her a little more heroic and stuff um, and her just being part of the Suicide Squad just doesn't make sense. And I think it holds her back as a character. I also understand why they want to keep her there because she sells. Um, and let's be real, the rest of the characters that were left in this team are not exactly uh, big sellers. So I was not really excited to hear about the new Suicide Squad series. I don't mind a new Suicide Squad series with Dream or whatever. Um, but I just don't think that Harley belongs there anymore. I had to let the cat out. The cat has left the building. <laughs> no, bring him back. He wants to be part of the stream. She, she's been here two hours, and I tried to let her out once, and she was like, I'm not, I want to stay with you. So she's, <laughs> she's an outdoor cat, so she might be back. Uh. Damn beautiful gift for Bar. Oh, the um, that Harley Quinn one. I, I knew to yeah. get two of that one. Uh, Lenny says, that's issue 38. Sozo my, Sozo my, this person's variant. <laughs> Terry got some, Terry got some, Oh, Elon, I have your, oh, look at his personal Terry profile. His fantastic. profile pic. Nice. I have Elon's watch on that he gave me for my birthday. Did you see this? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen yeah. that. It's so the Peanuts cute. watch. Thank you, Ilan. <laughs> Everyone should read Birds of Prey. Big Barda, Big Barda, Big Barda, Big Barda, Big Barda, Big Barda. Oh, did I say Frank Cho? I apologize. It's Terry Dodson. Terry and Rachel Dodson. Thank you for correcting me. Okay, do we want to talk some books today? <laughs> do you have your sex of shame 
I that do. you've read. Are you going to like rank them from the best to worst or something? Uh, I, I mean, I could if you want. It's a. Some of them were. Some of them I had to read the other books leading up to it. Uh, like for instance, the top book that you picked was She Hulk Girl Can't Help It. And that's volume three of the Rainbow Rowl run. And it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I think you'd like it. It's you can jump right in. She's uh <laughs> this person wrote Runaways, right? Correct. And she's I, a young I've adult read the first author. few issues, and it was okay. Um, but I didn't absolutely love it. Um, would you say that this is better than their um, Runaways I one? I haven't read Runaways, but Peter M. Uh, Crisis loved it and insisted I read it. And that was a year ago, and I still haven't done it. So it's high on my <laughs> list. That's, an, that's a shame stack right there. <laughs> I she said she's setting up her uh with another person her own uh like superhuman private uh law firm. The art is great, the story's great, it's like a slice of life type thing with her. Of course, it has Hellcat in it, so it's awesome. Um uh, Jack of Hearts is a character I'm not familiar with. Um, but he but he um, he pops into her life. Uh, he has something to do. Here he is. He shows up at her apartment needing help. He was, I don't know, a West Coast Avenger, something. I don't know. It doesn't matter because he's the book sets it up so you don't need to know who he is. He, but it ap appears that they had an interest in each other, but he uh, was like, a radiation absorbing man or heat absorber, but he got his powers under control. And um, I love this whole series. So I can recommend this to you as something you can jump right into and don't need to know anything about anybody. Something, something really? happened and now they're here. So yeah, I, I really like the covers on these. Yeah. Do, do you know who does the covers? Is it um, Jen Bartel? I think. Jen Bartel. Think yeah. Oh, really? Good, good eye. <laughs> and Martel. Very good eye. Yeah, I love her heart, her art. Yeah, I do too. So that was one of the first things in the stack of shame I read and loved. I can recommend it to you. Okay, so do you want to do it like you do a book that you've read and I do a book that I haven't read? Or do oh, we do... Uh Okay, so you're gonna okay, so you're gonna go through your stack of shame and show me what you're going to read. Yes. Okay, good. Let's do it that I, way. I have books here that I've had. I, I specifically uh, went for books that I've had for quite a while, like not books that I just bought and haven't gotten the chance to read yet, but books that I've had for a while, but just for for some reason just have not read them yet but i do have interest to read them so okay. i think i'll start with the one that i think may be the shortest Ooh, the complete collection by james robinson yeah choice i i always i've not read scarlet witch yet and i also wanted to jump into her new series but i said i'm not going to do that at least until i read this run I, I I've been told that this is a good place to start with this character. Have you read it? I have several times. Really? Yeah. I really all, all you need to know is Agatha Harkness. You know who Agatha Harkness is from the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> That's close enough. I in this <laughs> one, I think she appears as an older woman, her oh. mentor, and stuff happens. You can go right into it. You already know who Agatha is. You know who the Scarlet Witch is and yeah. stuff. You know, it, it's it's not hard to get into at all. I I read it, not knowing anything, and I loved it. I really like the art in this. It looks so good. 
yeah, there's some really cool panels in that, right? Doesn't the artist do some really interesting panel work in there? Uh, there are many artists in here, it seems, but it seems like they kind of fit with one another in a way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me highlight you there. Yeah, there's some cool panel stuff going on in that series. Okay, so yeah, this was my first one. Okay, good. That one of, That's great. Of but here's a question. When you guys send stuff to each other, how long does it usually take to arrive? And is, is, it, is it expensive to send? I sent Bar something once, and it was like two twice. Bar. Twice? Oh, but yeah. Come on, uh, well, man. James, I sent it. Here's the thing. I, I send everything to James now to send to her. Oh, yeah, I sent you that. But that's the one I sent to bar. Yeru, Yer, it changed the spelling of Jerusalem to Jerusalem. <laughs> what was it? Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem. And it was like <laughs> some random street. Didn't you have to like go up and down the neighborhood to find it or something? How did it make it to you? I assume that it's because I buy so much. I mean, you know, it's gotten to the point. Um, the postal, the postal company usually calls me. Be, uh, like the the delivery man usually calls me before he arrives and uh, asks for the code. But I order so much that <laughs> the delivery man from the postal company doesn't call me. I just get a text that it was delivered. Like he already knows the code to my building. <laughs> that I. <laughs> I don't, and so I don't send anything to Bar anymore. I send it to James, who seems to know the postal system better than I do. I printed out my own label, and it was, it changed everything in it. And I said, I hope this makes it to Bar. <laughs> so it did make it to you, but now I send it to James, and James just sends her big care packages a, a, every a few every few months, and he knows how to address it better than I do. Um, I like to believe that the people at the postal company are like, oh, that girl again. It's Bar again. She's unstoppable. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of, it, I sent her that issue, and I feel like it was like 20 bucks to send it to her, which is not bad to get something to Israel. Israel's pretty far away from her, fr from here. <laughs> um, but it's the, it's international stuff is hard to get the address just right for me anyway um it's so that's why i send it to i'll be sending those uh this harley i'll send to james and i'll send the other single issues that i got for you to james and he'll just take care of it james is and that when way. it comes to sending to jess i i just and even omar i just do it um, me and James, we just make an order directly to their house from Amazon and Amazon more, most of their warehouses are in the United States. So it doesn't take long, um, yeah. to get to them. I don't know how James got that label. Where'd that James, box did go? you do that? I, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> the, I still, I'll be able to put this label back together. So it's okay. But <laughs> I've never seen a package that says <laughs> open live on Saturday. Oh. Is that is that my name now? Will I be getting my packages? Jess Bragg, Omnidog, open live on Saturday? I actually got something even funnier not long ago from a friend of mine. I lent her a book a few years ago, like two years ago. It's one of my favorite books. And she didn't return it. She completely forgot about it. And by the time that she remembered, it, it was like two years ago. <laughs> and by the time that she remembered, she says that the book is not in great condition and she, that she doesn't want to send, send it to me like that. Um, so she decided she wants to buy me a new copy. <laughs> and on, on, on the label... Of, of of the of of the box that I got, it says, "I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I, this haunted me in my dreams." <laughs> <laughs> and you got a new copy of the book. Yeah, finally. I mean, I can reread it now. 
the next book that I read was Hellcat. Um, this one I I need to read. This one you can't pick up cold. This has mm. too many things that has happened to it. She's had like husbands that took her to hell and she was married to a demon or something. And she's in San Francisco and demons show up. And she has like three ex-husbands that she had that want to kill her. I, I, it's a whole thing. And I, I want to love it, but I got to read stuff. Um, I got to read more stuff in her continuity. I, it was, I was, it was not confusing. Was. Yeah. I, it's one of those books that just had too much stuff before it. And I, and that's, that's on me. I, I, and I don't mind. I'll go to Marvel unlimited and I'll read whatever I need to read. I'll, I'll ask, I'll ask Omar what I need to read or somebody I, I in the don't chat. I agree that it's on you. I mean, it's okay for a book to continue stuff that, that happened beforehand, but most good writers do a good job at catching you up to the things that happen so you wouldn't feel lost. Like most books that I read, uh, it's like the writer knows that this might be the first book of the character that you've picked up. So they do try their hardest to like catch you up on things. And I don't agree that it's necessarily on the reader, like the fault of the reader that, that they, they didn't know that they need to read a bunch of other stuff before they read this number one volume you know yeah i yeah i get that and <laughs> it, it did it did a good job of catching me up and telling me what had happened it, it's it collects iron man hellcat annual and hellcat one through five it's by christopher cantwell who i uh, like a lot patsy is living in san francisco in a house haunted by the ghost of her mother but when somebody close to her best frenemy hetty murder is murdered Hellcat is the prime suspect. Blah, blah, blah. Supernatural sleepwalkers. How does her demonic ex Damon Hellstrom figure into all this? So I I like Damon Hellstrom as a character, so I need to go back and find out how the heck Hellcat was married to Damon Hellstrom. So I mean it, I can't recommend it to you. But if anybody likes Hellcat and has and is up to date on it, they'll probably like it. Uh, I I actually don't know any of these characters. <laughs> yeah, I I I like her when she appears. She she appears um, in the variants, which I really liked. As a as a co character, she appears in She Hulk, which I liked as a as a co star. Uh, <laughs> on her own, it confused me though. This didn't confuse me. This was awesome. Bombresti. <laughs> Bombresti. I had it highlighted, but I had to take it out for the um for the thumbnail. And you can see how it. bad the thumbnail is because I did it. Upper management is out of town for two weeks. So I'm in charge of my own um thumbnails. So they blow, except Reed did the thumbnail for tonight because. Uh, Reed and Omni Cat and Mary M are going to be on Batter Days. Uh, oh, Mary M is going to be there too. Yeah, she was the original. Okay, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Best panel in all of comics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this book stars Jubilee, Boom Boom, and Dazzler and X23, Laura Kinney. You can jump right into it, and it's awesome. I love this book. This was a recommendation from Babar to add to my stack of shame. And I said, what the heck? I I need it, needed to read it anyway. It's by Leah Williams. And it, it is really fun. It's like Girls' Night Out Gone Wrong, where they I've end heard up from some fans of these characters that they weren't fans of how they were written in this series. But honestly, as a newcomer who doesn't know any of these characters. I had a lot of fun. It actually kind of bums me out that they're not like the way that they're written in the series <laughs> because I really I like thought, them. I thought she wrote it really fun. They they acted, you know, they went on a girls' night out because Dazzler 
uh, you need to get consoled after her nasty breakup. They get swooped away to a different dimension and find X-23 in a fighting arena thing. And I really enjoyed seeing Laura, like, losing up a bit and being around other girls and just having fun. Yeah. I, I think we don't see that a lot with her character. I agree. Yeah. I concur. Oh, and <laughs> wait, who else is in this? Uh, what they end up having to go to Krakoa and explain themselves, um, <laughs> which is funny because they create havoc on this world where they get swooped away to, um, and then they end up having to go to Krakoa and talk <laughs> to the Quiet Council about the trouble they've caused. Uh, and it's really funny. I love this book. I love the art in this, too. Yeah. Let's see. Who's the artist? Carlos Gomez. So, yeah, you can jump right into it. All you need to know is these characters. And if you don't know these characters, what's wrong with you? These are these are great characters. You don't boom, even boom, need to Jubilee, know these characters. Dazzler, X-23. They're awesome. This was my first introduction to all of these characters except for oh. Laura. Okay. I, I didn't know of any of them really before I read this. Like of their existence. <laughs> I'm not talking about just like knowing about. I didn't know them at all. So yeah, this was this okay. was a fun introduction for me. Okay, on to my next book then. Oh, Mr. Miracle. I'll admit that I've read some of this a long time ago. I do not know why I stopped and why I just didn't continue. I don't remember how much of this I've read and I don't remember what I've read. Um, uh, but I remember that I enjoyed uh, the part that I did write that I did read. Um, I really love his relationship with Barda. I love Barda. <laughs> Barda's great. So, yeah, I, I, I need to check this one out. I know that there are people out there who have mixed feelings about um, Tom King. I don't. I have but very for strong me, he's positive. mostly a hit. Yeah. He's yeah. mostly, from the stuff that I've read of his, I've, I've enjoyed. Even Batman. Yeah, I've enjoyed his Batman. I loved like, his Batman, and I will die yeah. on that hill. I don't his care. Poison Ivy story in that Batman run. I loved it. It was it's actually one of my personal favorite Poison Ivy stories. Yeah. So I don't care what anyone has to say. I'm waiting right? for that Tom King omnibus. I love his supergirl. I yep. enjoyed what I've read of this, and I've enjoyed I've been enjoying his Wonder Woman so far. It's and it's not that everything is perfect. I do have my opinions about things. I do have some criticism. But for the most part, I've really been enjoying his stuff. So there's no reason why I will not like this. I think the the one thing people had with that book is how it opens because he's trying to take his life and there's no warning about that. So people felt it could mm. be a trigger and it should have had a, a a page right before that that said, you know, explaining what you're about to see. Um, mm. they, I would, and that... I think that is also an issue um, for some other books. P uh, publishers need to start being aware if they're going to tackle those kinds of subjects. They need to have a page in there kind of warning people what they're about to get into. <laughs> I've also seen some people complain about like uh, his relationship with uh, Granny Goodness in this book, like making it seem like... I don't know. I've seen people say that it's romanticizing uh, what Granny Goodness did to him uh, as a kid. I don't know. I don't think I've gotten to that point. I don't, again, I'm not really familiar with Scott. I mostly know more about Barda. Um, so I can't really say anything about that, to be honest. Um, but if that's actually an issue, then sure. I, I see if that's really something that is a problem, then I can see what people have to say. Uh, since I had a cat follow me around, I didn't get a chance to get myself something to drink. So 
be taking a tour of uh, Omnidog's house. And I'm going to turn off the music so I don't get demonetized. Um, and you can talk about another book, or we can keep talking about this book if you want. <coughs> about Mr. Miracle. Have you read that book? I have. Yeah, I loved it. It's a great, I thought it was a great portrayal uh, of a marriage. And Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it was really, really well done as far as its portrayal of their trying to work out their marriage while they're fighting bad guys, so to speak. Um, I just, I found it, uh, it's really, to me, it's more of a marriage and parenthood book. Just from scrolling through this i see one king thing missing the narration i i don't see a lot of narration in this tom king loves to narrate his stories and i'm actually kind of surprised that i don't see much of that i i think the main criticism against like supergirl uh woman of tomorrow was that there were too many, um, just too much narration uh, covering a lot of the beautiful art, and that many people thought that a lot of that narration was unnecessary to the story. I, I disagree. I, I do agree that he sometimes just loves writing, <laughs> just full page of narration. I get that. But I actually did enjoy the narration in Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. But you know I do think it's a little overdoing it on Wonder Woman. I think the problem isn't Tom King. I think the problem is you listen to other people's opinions. You're online uh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear no, any I, of these I, I, I do agree with the narration bit, though. I, I, I didn't I don't have a problem that. with it on Supergirl, but I am noticing it, it a bit more on Wonder Woman. I'm still loving Wonder Woman, don't get me wrong. That's good. But there are things that I'm saying, this is a visual media. There are things that let the art do the job, you know? Less words, l let's let the art do do what it needs to do. Okay, well, that's fair. I, I loved Woman of Tomorrow. I can't wait to yeah. get it in absolute format. Um, it was my book of the year. I don't have any problems with it. Uh, I also don't listen to other people's opinions because I don't want, I mean, not, not that I'm not listening listen to your to my, opinion. To my opinions. I do listen to your opinions. That's <laughs> why I have you on the show. Same with Omnicat. Um, but I, uh, I try not to find out what anybody thinks of a book so I can go into it cold and form my own opinion. So that's why I'm not online at all. Um, so I don't hear any of these criticisms. And, and I mean, that's fair. Oh, wait, here's Shalom from Booster Green. Shalom. Uh, and I'm way behind, of course, in the chat. Uh, uh, let's see. My mom brought me a cake. Nice. <laughs> Did she bring me a piece? That looks good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to eat in front of you, just like you ate uh, the hamburger that <laughs> the oh cycle the cycle sent me i just figured out this is cycle <laughs> because the only opinion that matters is your own this is definitely cycle harvey p car's ghost how many accounts does he have i don't know you do have a lot of accounts cycle it's good to see you though uh this is why we need more thought bubbles in modern comics uh, oh, Stanley's here. Is this where we all see Justice Killer behind him while he films himself getting a drink? That would have been great if my wife was here and she could have pretended to do it or actually do it, but she's not in town. So she wasn't a candidate. <laughs> I will say, though, I don't go out of my way to, like, look at other people's opinions. Um, even Even with book reviews of, like, if it's there's a book that I haven't read and I look at reviews, it's not necessarily because I let people's opinions like affect my own opinion. I just kind of sometimes just look for a little more information if the yeah. synopsis didn't sell me enough. So sometimes the reviews, 
do yeah. that. But what I've, I've seen of Mr. Miracle, it was by accident, really, on Reddit. Somebody wrote that in one of the comments. And I don't know why I even remember that. <laughs> um, with uh, Woman of Tomorrow, I only saw that long time after I've read it for at least like five times. And I did not have any problem with the narration. Um, but as I said, I, I think just with Wonder Woman, I, it, it, I've noticed it a little more. Hmm. Um, and, and it's not because other people pointed it out. I just think that it's more obvious in this series because I think that this series doesn't require as much narration. Um, and I do think that um, in this series, the art can do a little more than what than what it is given to do you know i still absolutely love woman of tomorrow and i'm really enjoying wonder woman uh, you know the latest issue uh, sorry issue number six of um, that hi hi phil <laughs> issue number six of wonder woman where he had less i haven't been reading actually it. the best mm, okay so far now, S.O., you need to change this. Those are two great books. As Bar Eats Her Cake, which looks really good. That frosting looks like it's fudgy. Mm. <laughs> Do you need a glass of milk with that? Do you drink milk <laughs> at all? We don't really. It's not really a thing here in Israel to drink milk alone. It's usually part of coffee or okay. uh, chocolate milk and stuff like that. But we usually don't drink milk, you know? Mm. Oh. People will think I'm weird. No, it's fine. You eat you <laughs> eat cake the way you eat cake. It's fine. <laughs> it's your cake. Enjoy it how you want it. Uh, Pity Ma, comic related. Good to see you, Pity Ma. I just received hey, Jack Pity Kirby's Ma. fourth world Omni one and two. My stack is getting crazy. I must start Soup Silver Age before the next Soup Stream. Well, the next Soup Stream is tomorrow, Pity Ma, with Jessica. Um, but we're not covering Silver Age. We're going to be covering Boosie X Superman uh, with the fabulous Jessica Ash uh, craft. Um, so uh, if you're going to start it, you need to start it now. Wait, wait. You need to go to S.O. S.O. Uh, latest comment. Oh, S.O. is Israeli? What, how do we know you're Israeli? Where from from Israel? Yeah. Where are you from? I don't believe it. Yeah, so I didn't realize you were from Israel. Your English is so good. Oh, thank you. I'm eating stale crackers with much disdain now. <laughs> DH, what up? <laughs> Watching Bar Eat, I'm going to go whip up some heavy cream and Splenda now. Uh, this is where SO says he and or she is from. Oh, my grandma is from there. My my. Actually, my mom's entire family is from Haifa. Man, I love that city. Okay, wait. Here's the proof. So, say something to her in Hebrew with your Hebrew keyboard. Yeah. Let's see. That'll show it. You could have just looked at a map and said Haifa. 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 <laughs> is Haifa up north or is it in the south? Let's do a little test there. <laughs> Uh <laughs> oh booster, you visited Haifa. Mm. Haifa was beautiful when I visited. Such a beautiful city. I love Esto it. So is challenging these radio <laughs> correspondent. No, I have up. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, a he's a bunch Israeli. of crooked letters. Can I high five your grandma? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Is that it? Said? Okay, SO, way to go. We're super glad to have you. Two Israelis. <laughs> That's awesome. Manishma <laughs> Kapara. Uh, I don't trust you, Stanley. That's the only one I don't trust. <laughs> I just helped Stanley buy a bunch of Batman books. That was very uh very uh fun. He is from Wales. I'm doxing him. He Stanley's from Wales. Oh, really? One of, one of my two Welsh viewers. Uh, Ilan like is the, the other. 
Elon is the other one. Let's see. Let me go back in the chat and see what I miss. Barda, barda, barda. Well, Mr. Hi-Fi is the place with the wild pigs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Haifa's got yeah, wild pigs? Yeah, the streets have, like, you can go around the streets, like, randomly and run into a wild pig. A, a wild pig once chased after me. <laughs> it, it was an adventure. But do I have a Google link full of thumbnails of bar in me? I, I th actually, you know what? I think I lost the link, James. You should probably send it to me again, because my I had to uh, restart my computer and it got rid of all my tabs and I couldn't get them back. So actually, James, could you send me that again? Uh, you can send it on Facebook if you want. I'm not on Facebook right now, but I. Uh, I do need, uh, I'm glad you said that. I do need it. Yeah, I believe S.O. I believe him. Okay, yeah. well, I do too, sure. If you believe him, <laughs> I believe him. Uh, oh, we're talking about Hellcat. Okay. It's true, most writers do that. That's for the first time reader. Tiger was... Tiger was WCA. Oh, yeah, Tiger's the one. It's not Hellcat. Tiger's in the variants. Or is Hellcat in it, too? Where? Oh, she blinked out. Okay, you just blinked out. That's fine. You're back. Did I freeze out? Yeah, it's okay. And then James is going bombresti crazy. Me? I'll have to leave. What? Why'd you leave? Uh, I guess because she was glitching out. Uh, okay. DC, may I get those puppy pics Omnidog Discord? Yeah, DH, We, if you've got new puppies, we need to see them on Omnidog's Discord. We have a whole section that I'm uh, full of dog and cat pics and uh, guinea pigs and everything else. So we need, uh, Doug, for you to join the Discord and start posting dog pics in that channel. I'm going to post a bunch of pics of Lily since she was here for two hours and was acting like my dog. Um, Jacob, I still need to read Mr. Miracle. It's on my to-read pile, LOL. I heard it's really good. It is really good. Um, do, 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 do. Did you have to restart your hey. connection? Uh, no, my, my phone rang. Oh. Somebody told me. <laughs> yeah. Are you on an iPhone? Oh, yeah. Tell, uh, tell, have Siri put it to sleep. Say, put on sleep focus. And then nobody will call you. I actually don't have Siri. I hate her. She's annoying. <laughs> okay, well, you put it on sleep focus. No, it's, it's, it's on sleep mode. But oh, still, okay. uh, on some people, uh, it still rings. Like people who bring you chocolate cake? Yeah. They and should people, go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lenny is with us. I love Tom King's Batman Rebirth and Batman Catwoman Run too. Lenny, nice. I have nice. not read his Batman Catwoman Run. I was too annoyed by the wedding issue. That I'm wasn't not. his fault. That was DC's fault. They hyped yeah. up that thing, and the marketing department did a really poor job hyping that up. It shouldn't have been hyped up. It ended the only way it could, and I don't think that was his fault. But True. go ahead. Go but ahead. That left a sour taste in my mouth. I, I think it left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths. Yeah. <laughs> like there was, it was such a dumb decision from DC. There was so much buildup. Yeah. So much build up for that. Like it felt like the event of the year in comics. And yeah. they just nope. Like the amount of returns uh that happened with this issue. Oh, really? Yeah, DC DC actually had to um pay back a lot of stores because they reported oh, they were having um a lot of <laughs> returns from customers. They were saying like we are getting back thousands of copies. And we want that money, you know. We buy it from you. We yeah. want that money back. Well, I hope DC learned this lesson. And I'm eating a carb-free meal right after this, Harvey, so you can relax. 
James, you're wrong to even think that Harley and Ivy will even be in the situation where they will maybe get married. <laughs> like that that's not even going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. Oh, Phil's Welsh too. I got three Welshers. Mm. I've learned I, I, all the I, Hebrew. I like the Welsh accent. Uh, oh, the cat's back. I wonder if she wants back in. Elon, that's not a good translation. You're you're talking to me in as if I'm a male. Just saying. Google Google Translate should not be trusted. Basically. Oh. C B M A B. For eleven. Uh, on your like, Discord, thank you. Did you get chocolate cake on your keyboard? Oh, that must be when you glitched out. <laughs> you didn't know about my Discord? Doug, you need to be in the Discord. Oh, and this is what you were talking about? Did he Google translate some Hebrew to you? Yeah, he's talking to me as a male. Oh, <laughs> he's saying you, you, you are male? That's the way it's yeah, translated? Yeah, because... Yeah, because Hebrew is a very uh, gendered language. So when oh. you say you, there's a way to say it to a male and a way to say it to a female. Um, and Google Translate immediately, for some reason, automatically um, translates it to the male um, version. Oh, so that's how we know SO is real, because he he is uh, he and or she must have uh, yeah. got it right. And also, yeah, no, they, they said easy. some facts about Haifa, so I believe them. Ah, okay. Just <laughs> big in Wales. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know my grammar. <laughs> You're good. You... We're, just, we're not trusting people over here. <laughs> you, is she, uh, Ilan wants your mom's recipes. For that cake. Did your mom make that cake? Because it looked awesome. Yeah, she, she just made it. Wow. Uh, I don't know, she was in the mood to make something. So I was like, make the chocolate cake. And before the stream, I was actually bummed out. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to eat this until after the stream. Uh, because it would only be ready during the stream. And she was like, uh, she was like, okay, you can wait. I did not expect her to actually bring me some right when it'll, when it'll be ready. Uh, actually, I should have expected it. <laughs> <laughs> your mom's great. I love my mom. That's awesome. I love to hear that. If that <laughs> is great. Jess is on billboards in Wales. Oh, Booster. I'm annoyed Pies and Ivy uh, series is doing some weird love triangle stuff currently. I love the series otherwise. They they do have uh, Poison Ivy doing a little experimentation. Uh, uh. I, <laughs> I I also have some of my opinions about that, but I, I, I'm kind of reserving it because we don't know yet where G. Willow Wilson is taking us. Because right. from what I've seen on social media, like I've asked her about this, about this whole situation. And she said, at the end of the day, Ivy's true love is Harley. Like she recognizes that the true love between them She's like, Jenny's just there to create a mess. She's uh, so... A chaos uh, But she says at the end of the day, Harley and Ivy belong together. That's what she, she said to me. So she knows um, I love the that what the fans want. Her. I love that you have a relationship with her on... What is it? Blue Cloud or whatever? Blue Sky, yeah. Blue Sky. Yeah, that's cool. She, she's a very sweet person. Um, so that gives me hope. And uh, but I do wonder where Harley kind of disappeared in the last few issues, mm -hmm. um, because I am interested to see what they're going to do with that. Because that, oh, I don't know if that's going to be a spoiler. Because I, I, some of these, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna say it. Um, so are you something you're that reading happens, it, it? You're reading it, it when the new issues come out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you been reading the latest issues? Uh, I no, I not unless I accidentally read one of the singles I pick up just for the covers. I don't. You I read just the hard covers. Yeah, that came out. Yeah, 
I guess so I could read ahead on DC Ultra, but I haven't yet. They're not there yet. You're not there where I, what I was going to say, so I will not say that. Um, I, but I will say that even without Harley there, I really, really, really loved the recent storyline. And I can't wait for that to be uh, printed because this storyline will really establish this Ivy series as the as the best place to start for Ivy. Mm. Uh, like anyone uh, who does not know anything about the character, this is the place to start. And this storyline just helps with that, basically. And it helps that they have really boss covers. Yes. Because that's creators all around. The creators on this series are Chef's Kiss. Yeah, uh, Chef's Kiss. Nice way to say it. That's right. And here's Bar's Blue Sky address. I'm there once in a billion years. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, I, I think the last post I made there was maybe about uh, my stream with Omar and Maddie and Amanda. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to know where I am, I'm mostly on Discord. So the next book I read uh, was Pearl Volume 3, which uh, I needed to uh, reread. I had already read Pearl Volume 1 and 2, and I was surprised that he continued because Volume 2 ended so perfectly. Um, she is an Asian albino, an Asian albino y Yakuza boss in San Francisco. Um, the art is amazing. It's by Michael Gatos. And it's Bendis that's writing it. The art is fantastic. Um, she, her, her mom was the Yakuza head in san francisco her mom passed away uh and so she kind of inherited it but she had to go to japan to solidify it and she's um she's ha she has she's albino but she has tattoos all over her face and body that she did and they glow when she gets super emotional so if she's about to get angry and blow your brains out her Tattoos are going to show on her face. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's like right here. Like right here, they show up because she's getting emotional with this dude. Um, oh, that's nice art. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Michael Gatos, great art. She, he works well with Bendis. I think they, he, yeah, he was the artist in Alias. Um, you know, and she's she's got a boyfriend and relationships and friendships that are cool in San Francisco. Um, but book three ends on a cliffhanger. So I got to wait for book four. Ah. So I will say I, I loved it as much as I love the first two volumes, but I actually can't judge it because I apparently I'm only halfway in the story on volume three. Um, I, I love Pearl. I have all three volumes. I don't know if it's going to get, um, I, I don't think I'll up. Oh gosh. If it got oversized, I might because of the art, the art is so boss. Um, this, the story is solid. Bendis is a great crime writer and this is a super interesting character that he created. So I, I dug this, but I can't wait to find out what happens and, I don't know when the next Pearl's going to come out, but I'm hooked. I still love the character, and I love the book. I actually also have a Bendis book on this list, so maybe I'll just go for that. I was going to show a different book, but if we're going about, we're talking about Bendis, so. Ah, that's the same artist. You'll love it. Oh, really? Yeah. I've had this book for a while. A very very long while and i've actually had one of the um trade paperbacks of this for years literal years when i had maybe like six comics and i still <laughs> never read it <laughs> i had it 
for years and I've not read it yet. But I heard that this is really good. I've never watched like the Jessica Jones TV show and I've never read anything with her. So I'm hoping that this is a good introduction. I it is. I can almost guarantee you're gonna love this book. It's a classic. Yeah, it is a, it is a classic Marvel book. This book is so great. I'm is very she, excited you're reading it. Is she similar to Renee Montoya in any kind of way? Uh, like character wise, mm, no, she not really. She, she um, she, her power set has changed over the years. Um, she's very strong. Uh, she has a relationship with Luke Cage. Um, she's a private investigator in it. Oh, I, isn't she a lawyer? I thought she was no, a she's a she's a private investigator. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't see other than being a woman, I don't see her <laughs> as being anything like Renee Montoya. I was asking because just from scrolling, some of this art gives me a bit of Renee Montoya art, uh, Renee Montoya vibes. Just her like standing in in front of like an evidence wall and trying to I don't know it just gave me a little bit of an animal mm. feel. Well, I'm not they, saying it based on any kind of knowledge. They just both from looking. they both do their own kind of detective work, so that's similar. They they both investigate crime. Um, you know, Renee Montoya should actually also become PI. Oh, that'd be cool. Except I love her as the question. So yeah. Oh, she could be a question as a PI, though, as long as she stays the question. Whoop. I'm kicked dupe there for a sec. We need, we need Greg Rocca to ride her again. Oh, uh, yes, we do. Uh, let me so, answer Cheese Guy's question. Oh, okay. I'll wait till you This is done. a recommendation. Solid. This is a solid book. I, If anybody do you, doesn't do you, like... Do you usually like Bendis? I know some people love him, some people hate him, some people are mixed. I don't really have an opinion. I have liked all of the Bendis stuff I've written. Um, I don't think people don't like the fact that they think he aged up John Kent, Jonathan Kent, Superman's son. I don't think that was Bendis's decision. I think that was editorial. <laughs> but I will say I didn't love his Superman. Uh, I liked it, but I I actually have liked. I mean, I loved all of Ultimate Spider Man that I've read. I've loved all the Bendis stuff I've ever read. But he is divisive. Some people don't like him. I don't, and I don't. I don't know. I'm not one of those people. I like Bendis's stuff, so I I I, I don't know what the issue is. But people people have problems with him, and I, I'm not sure why. Jessica Jones has powers? I it, it, her power set has changed throughout the years. She's a, she's 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 been super powered before. Um I feel like she's I can't remember now. Alias uh I read that a few years ago. Uh I she has some kind of powers. I feel like she's got super strength. Well, let me see if the chat can correct me. What are Jessica Jones' powers, everybody? I honestly didn't even know she was super powered. I thought she was just a regular human. Jessica being. Jones has superpowers. Yeah, what I forget whether she's stronger. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Mm. Um hey Richard. Oh, Cheese hey. Guy had a question I wanted to answer. Hi, Cheese Guy. Uh Cheese Guy. Where are you? Ah, I'm reading Super Sons from 2017. Did you like it? No, I loved it. I love Super Sons. Super. I have not read everything, but it's so good. It's really fun. Yeah, cheese guy, you're in. You're in for a treat. It's really, really fun. But read Superman first by Peter J. Tomasi. I think it sets it up really well. I mean. You can read it without it because the story in um, uh, Peter J. Tomasi's series is also collect collected in the Super Sons, um, Super Duper Edition, for, uh, at least for what I know. Um, 
but I do think that it just gives you a better con connection with uh, John Kent before uh, this series. I, uh, I, I think that the super duper edition is just the three extra trades that have come out about Super Sons. Mm, okay. But you're, but you're right. I think that's a good recommendation to read um, to be uh, Superman by Tomasi. It it's awesome too, and it does give context for Jonathan and um, Damien. Um, I mean, that, that cover alone just describes their relationship. Just Jonathan <laughs> being yeah. super happy and flying in midair. And Damien's like, what the hell's going on here as he's hanging on for dear life? It's a it's a great book. And, and Superman know, is also great. If you want to know how uh, beginner friendly it is, I gave it to my little sister who does not read comics. Um, and she read it in two days. And loved it. She absolutely loved it. She fell in love with Damien. She asked me if I have other comics with Damien. She really enjoyed enjoyed his character. That he's a little a hole. <laughs> <laughs> she found him funny. Yeah. Um, and she did ask me sometimes about some characters. Who is this guy? Who like? She she asked me a bit, but she found it quite easy to follow. So. Here you go. Someone who does not read comics, didn't know any of these characters before reading it, and absolutely loved it. So, and I think it's young reader friendly as well. Yeah. That, okay. Good. That's good that your sister. How much? Uh, how uh, many years younger than you is your sister? Five years younger. Five She's years nineteen. Younger. Okay. Oh, that's right. You just turned twenty-four. I forgot. I keep yeah. thinking of you as twenty-three. <laughs> Um, the art on the Ivy series has been amazing. I started Ivy in this run. Uh, but what is your Discord bar? Uh, did James write it uh, in the chat? If he didn't, Discord. just writing. Uh, you have your own Discord? Not not a channel, but they can message me if they want. Oh yeah, she's in my Discord. You should join that, Lenny. And chat through it. Oh yeah, there. Uh, just has a Discord. You don't need to. It's not. It's not Patreon exclusive. That's so right. <laughs> you can just join that one. Uh, okay, there was some Bendis dislike. Stanley has to go. And sorts of stuff. You're all wonderful. Even you, Jess. Thank you, Stanley. Stanley's a dear friend of mine. Uh, Pearl is a fun read. There was some. Bendis dislike from Booster Green. That's cool. You are still allowed to uh, participate. No, opinions are not allowed here. <laughs> oh, there's the adorable them. Brent Hogan who just sent me a lovely email. Thank you, Brent. Awesome. I haven't heard of Pearl yet. I loved Alias. You should love Pearl then too, Brent. Uh, yeah, if you join my Discord, you can find Bar there and, and message the heck out of her. Alias is my favorite omnibus. Oh, Spooey broke a glass. That's not good. Spooey, I just sent your book. I think I told you that. Doc Elevator just got back from Godzilla and Kong. Hey. How was it? Uh, Logan loves Alias. There's a new movie. Uh, yeah, it's Godzilla and Kong, and I think it's like a buddy cop movie or something. I don't know. I think they are friends in it. I'm not is sure. Is it an American movie or is it Japanese? Well, I think it's American. Oh, okay. I, it's not like Godzilla minus one, oh. which is Japanese. Um, Alias and Daredevil are my favorite things Bendis has written. Oh, okay, good. Just posted pics of pups in Discord. I was already signed up and just forgot. Okay. You got a lot going on, Doug. It's okay. Montoya gang, rise up. I bought every issue of Alias in bulk on the recommendation of a friend. He's no longer my friend. Is that because you didn't like Alias or he just ghosted you, as the youth say? <laughs> I, that's too bad. I love Bendis Daredevil. Hut Destroyer, welcome. Uh... She can sort of fly. She's stronger than most humans. Yeah. She can fly? I she I know she has super strength, but it, it's weird. She's 
her character has been like a costumed character before with different powers and then it's changed and now she's it's changed like three times if you if you go to like wiki her she was i forget what her names were she was a costumed hero in like the west coast avengers or the avenge i think she was in the avengers uh, as a costumed hero and she had different powers and but this is where she's become famous and is interesting as Jessica Jones, private investigator. It's definitely an interesting choice to have a superpowered character dress regularly, like a, a regular civilian. We don't really see that. I mean, yeah, and she's quite public. She's you know looking yeah. for work as a private investigator. Oh, really? Yeah. Also, she drinks a lot. Whoa, she likes kind of like uh, Kate Bishop uh, trying to become a PI as Hawkeye in in the Hawkeye series. Mm. Uh, I, I I'm using that as an example because I'm literally right now reading that. <laughs> oh, good. I like that book. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's one thing you and I love is our uh, strong female protagonists. From both publishers. Uh, time to get Super Sons Omnibus? Yes, Lenny. Absolutely. I gotta go oh. for two minutes. Uh, okay. Somebody's calling me. It's kind of urgent. Two minutes. I'll Is try it to make it quick. Cake? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not chocolate cake. <laughs> Have your mom bring you another piece. Okay, so I will get caught up in the chat. Had a complete collection of Avengers from issue one. My favorite oh, issue one. My favorite comic series along with Legion of Superheroes, Bendis' Avengers Disassembled, ending my collection of that book. Okay, Phil. So you're not a Bendis fan. That's fair. I want to strength, but haven't read it myself yet. That sounds like you didn't type properly, Fifth of Jack. Uh, so I'll, we will revisit that. When Bendis was writing Superman, it kind of felt like he didn't really find his voice. Yeah, I I felt that too. It it's it wasn't it wasn't must read like Tomasi's Superman. Um, so I, I don't know. It's taken me a while to even get back to reading it. Um, I'm not even. I don't know. I've had it on my Goodreads for like three years now. I should. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it. But I love Pearl. Oh, and I got to tell Barr this. Watch Battle of the Sup Super... Oh, I thought it said Sue Persons. Super Sons. Yeah, Doug, you've told me that. And I appreciate it. Um, I'm streaming like a madman today and tomorrow, but then I'll have time to watch TV. Super Sons is the only omnibus I've double dipped. I got the expanded edition and the challenge trade paperback. Oh, and then you got the super du super duper edition. I just kept the original edition and the three trades. They were not getting my money that way. Although I totally appreciate the fact that you double dipped. I have Batman and Robin, Superman, and Super Sons by Peter Tomasi. All very good and fun. Love those three omnis. You are correct, sir. And I am a fan of his detective comics. I loved mythology. I thought everything else was very good. Mythology, it was hard for it to, hard for the rest of the books to keep up with mythology because that was such a great start. And I'm talking about this book. I read it. This is still sealed, of course, because I just got it. But um, I, I read it in standard hardcovers, starting with mythology. I really liked it. Didn't love it, but I liked it enough to get the omnibus. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Lars, th these Super Sons books are great. You really need to read them. Good to see you. Yeah, please hit the like button. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate that. And if you're new, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Join my Discord and see me on Instagram also. Yeah, there you go. That one panel in Tomasi Superman when Clark and John raised their arms on the roller coaster was so good. You're 100% right. 
Okay, bar is back. Sorry. That's all right. Um, we have a recommendation. Oh, do you ever watch uh, DC animated stuff? Um, from time to time, I I don't watch that much animation. Uh, to. Yeah, this is something that Doug and other people have also recommend to, recommended to me. Battle of the Super Sons um, on the, D, the DC animated stuff. This is supposed to be really good. Is that an animated uh, movie? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I've heard some, again, I, I, people's opinions don't matter too much to me, but because a lot of uh, DC animated movies or just DC movies in general that people did not like, I really liked. Um, but is is this part of the newer movies or the older movies? Uh, why don't you tell me, Doug? I feel like it's kind of newish. I don't know that it's mm -hmm. brand new. Yeah, I, I kind of just watch them out of order. I don't really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's my Discord. Thank you. Super Sons had the original run. Expanded added the next 12-issue adventure series. Super Duper had the seven-issue challenge series and a story from Robin, 80th anniversary, 100-page Super Spectacular. Mm -hmm. While you were gone, Spooey was telling us he double-dipped and bought the uh, expanded and then upgraded to the Super Duper. I, act I actually had the uh, original Omnibus. Mm -hmm. And when I knew that this was coming out, I decided to give my little sister the the first one that I had. She loved it. And then when I got this, I told her, there's more content here. Do you want to read this one as well? So she read that one as well. I, she read more Soap and Sons than I have or have. So <laughs> <laughs> Good. that's one thing. <laughs> okay, Elon, I don't even know what we're talking about here. Ra Ravid, Plotnik, and Tuna. Are those two yes. separate? What? Okay, tell me about them. What, what is he talking about? Uh, they're both rappers in Israel, but Ilan, I don't think I sent you Tuna. I, I sent Ilan a bunch of songs and artists to listen to. Um, I tried to go for different genres, uh, like songs in Israel, Israeli music. I tried to go for different genres and different artists and from different times. Like I even gave him, I think, two or three songs from my parents' days. Um, I I sent him oh. Ravid Plotnik, but I don't think I sent him Tuna. I think he's, I I, I think he's uh, went maybe, a bit on a rabbit hole. May, yeah, maybe he <laughs> found Tuna himself. But Noah Kiro is the queen of Israeli music. That remains the truth. Who, uh, who is? Noah Kirill. Look her up. She's I, I don't even know how to spell it. How do you spell the last name? Wait, I'll, I'll write it down in the chat. Oh, okay. Uh, Lenny, no, you're not annoying. Why do you, Why would you say that? You're not annoying at all. I think you're no, a great you're not addition. annoying. Yeah. You said that. Oh, you're not he annoying. <laughs> you're not annoying. Did somebody say that? Don't you say that. You're fine. I, I enjoy what you say. Okay, uh, I said it. I made why... every guy fall in love with Noah Carroll. Every guy I sent them, Noah Carroll. Okay, they wait were a like, second. Do you have her number? <laughs> All right, wait a second. Oh, whoa, Noah Carroll. Okay, wait, I'll get back to you, Pity Ma. Let me see how. Okay. She's stunning, first and foremost. I okay. had a crush on That's her. That's okay, Noah Carroll. She popped right up. Let's go to images. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. And she can sing? And dance and perform. Oh, that's she not do no fair. Work. That's not fair at all. She's like the Israeli, like, Ariana Grande, almost like the pop princess of nowadays. Love her well good for you noah i hate that you're beautiful and talented but good luck to you do you know eurovision do you know that song contest uh i yeah i oh <laughs> here's upper management to in to check hey, on Patty. me <laughs> now that you found out now i'm a big fan of noah carroll okay great good timing <laughs> um 
Um, so uh, do you know Eurovision? The through my contest? through my international viewers, I have found out about it. Yeah, last year I think I found out, but it's been going on quite a while, right? Yeah, since I think the fifties, maybe the forties, the fifties. After it, it was after War War World Two, um, to kind of to like bring Europe together through music. Okay. Um, for some reason, Israel is also part of it, <laughs> even though we're not part of Europe. And the last year, our representative was Noah Kirill, and out of thirty-eight countries, she got to number three, to the third place. Very, very respectable. Who won? Top three, man. Did you do you remember who won? Yeah, it was Sweden. I didn't Sweden. like the song. Oh, I have Swedish viewers. I can't. <laughs> this is true, Patty. You are correct. <laughs> she came right in the right time. Wow. <laughs> it's like karma. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Love <Austra> you, Patty. <laughs> Australia is in it too for some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Patty, you can draw. Noah can draw. Uh. <laughs> Okay, now you're annoying, <laughs> Lenny. No, I'm kidding. Totally <laughs> kidding. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Don't call me out on Noah Carroll bar. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Wait. I Okay, Pity Ma said something earlier that I want to go back to. Uh, do, 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 do. Just say... Uh, uh, that's why I love Jess's Discord. It saves me money to buy more books and message with a great community. I love having Pity Ma in there. You're sweet, Pity Ma. I like you. Yeah. Uh, Phil, not a fan. Okay. Well, that is fair. Here's the good news. Joined the Omni Dog Discord. Omni Discord. Awesome. Good. Yeah, well, Lenny, I look forward to talking to you in there. Thanks, Jess. You did email me. I now have won two books from you. Am I disqualified for participating? No, I have tons of books I still want to give away. I should just send them all to you, Spooey. Oh, she had... Okay, we're back to... Um, uh, 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 Jessica, Jessica Jones. Jones. She was Jewel. She flew as Jewel, and what happened to her make her not like to fly. That's right. Okay. This okay, Chris's profile pic is the variance. It's a Jessica Jones book, it's a multiverse book where different versions of Jessica Jones show up like every time she gets a migraine, and Tigra's in it to try and help her solve the mystery because they're um, some of them are aggressive, some they don't know why they're there, they have a relationship with Daredevil. And they go up to this earth's daredevil and say, Oh my god, daredevil. And they make out with him. He's like, Whoa, lady, what's going on here? <laughs> and uh, Jewel shows up also in there. That's right, Chris. In the variants, there's there's multi Jesses, and Jewel's one of them. Um, okay, so she flew as Jewel, but she can't fly now. Um, she doesn't like to fly, but she um, she's still strong. Recently read Court of Owls, me likey. Good for you. Court of Owls is great. To me, the Jessica Jones TV show that came out on Netflix was good. I enjoyed all three seasons. I only saw the first few episodes, and it made me really uneasy, and I need to go back to it. I think I should go with my next book. Because okay. Unfortunately, I don't have that much time. Oh, we've only left. got half an hour left. Yeah. I have, to, I have to burn through my books. Okay, go. <laughs> Go. Go ahead. Okay. So the next one is A Walk Through Hell. I don't know if Ooh. you read that one. I have, and I Ennis. loved it. I Garth Ennis was also uh, one of those writers that you either love him or hate him. But from what I've, I've, I've read, I think, like two issues as it was coming out like a long time ago. And I loved it. I really, really loved it. And when I heard that there were coming out with like a beautiful hardcover, I bought it. 
but you know i just have such a backlog i i I don't get to read books right when I get them. So I've had this for quite a while. And this is something I actually really do want to read. Um, this is quite tame, tamed for uh, for an any series, you know? Keep reading. It gets oh. really <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> You're like, give him time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gets very Garth Ennis -y, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> But the premise is very interesting. It's really cool. It's a very well, cool premise. From what I remember, there's this like warehouse and there's this mystery of people like going inside and uh, not leaving. And they. Yeah, they, it's like an FBI murder investigation that leads to that warehouse. Yeah. And every time they send people inside to search for the people that went inside, they also don't come out. So these two um, investigators, I think FBI investigators, maybe, I don't remember, Yeah. Um, go into the warehouse to try to investigate what's going on in there. And I really like the art in this. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, it's great all around. Don't worry, you will be disturbed. It's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I, should, I shouldn't <laughs> scroll too much through this. Yeah, no, don't spoil the surprise because, yeah, it, yeah. I, I saw that it does indeed become more Garth Ennis <laughs> moving <laughs> forward. Um, so there's some gore in this, but yeah, this is a beautiful hardcover. So it is. Um, I, I'll get through these real quick. Back girls, I read it and enjoyed it, but it comes, I need to read. Fear Saga, because this is right after Fear Saga. Um, just like I need to read the uh, J Fear Joker. Street? You mean Fear First Fear State? Fear State. Fear State. Is that what okay. you're talking about? Okay. Yeah, okay. Fear State. Sorry, I misspoke. Thank you. Fear State. It, this comes out of Fear State after the aftermath of Fear State. So I'll get I'll reread it after I read Fear State, and I'll get more out of it. Just like I need to read Joker War, I know you don't think I need to, but I do, uh, to get more context for Harley Quinn, just for the first book. Um, for Poison Ivy? For Harley Quinn, the Harley Quinn series oh, by uh, really? Stephanie Phillips. She, yeah, she starts out in the very first book apologizing to Batman for a role in Joker War and says, I really want to help you. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then we're off to the races on a completely different thing. So I think really the only thing someone needs to know before going into Stephanie Phillips run is that Harley was away from Gotham for a lot of years. And the last time that she was in Gotham, she was a villain and she was with, uh, with Joker and she did a lot of bad things and hurt a lot of people. Um, and then she was in Coney Island, you know, during the, uh, uh, Jimmy Palmiotti and Amanda Connor series. And, um, the Joker War was just the first time that uh, that Harley came back because she heard of everything that Joker is doing in Gotham. So she decided to come back and help Batman. Uh, and that's really all, all everyone needs to know because the first arc is just Harley going on an apology tour oh, to okay. all the people that she feels that she's wronged in the past before leaving Gotham. Okay, so she didn't necessarily take part in Joker War. That's when she, she came back. Okay. She As did. A... She saved Batman's life a bunch of oh. times, actually. Okay. Okay. But oh, well, then I want to read really, that. Like, the events of Joker War doesn't really play a big part okay. into this. Like, the only really thing... I, I like Joker War. It's a great story, so you can still read it. Um, and I, I think I really liked uh, the way that Tinian writes Harley, actually. But um, I don't think it's necessarily necessary okay. to read Harley. You just need to know she came back and she feels the need to apologize to everyone that she wronged before she changed her ways um, in Coney Island. Because okay. Gotham still remembers her as Joker's girlfriend, you know? They, they yeah. didn't get to see that transformation. Okay, so I didn't know the timeline on that. Okay, that's good to know. Um, You're welcome. 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> the next two books I'm going to go over on Crime Corner with Bunk. I know I keep saying that, but I am going to do it. Noir Burlesque, which is an awesome crime book. And Gun Honey, which is also an awesome crime book. He and I will go in depth. I know why you like Gun Honey. <laughs> no, that's not why I like Gun Honey. <laughs> I've, that, seen, I've seen some of that art. It it's a good story, Bar. How dare you suggest anything I read other for than the that? The plot, yeah. The plot is good. <laughs> Don't start with me. It's a good story. She's a gun runner, and she's really interesting. Hey, look, Ed Brubaker, finest kind of pulp noir. <laughs> that it. cover is very tame for what's happening. I know that's the one I chose to show. That's the one I chose to show. Yeah, she does have a lot of cheesecakey covers, but it's solid. It's very solid, and um, I I really loved it. And this one's also cheesecakey. Uh, it's got a cool premise where it's all black and white, <coughs> and there's a hint of red in it. Oh, I can't show that. It's not safe for work. Um, it's a guy involved. Um, <laughs> like a, a criminal that's involved with a nightclub singer and it's all black and white with a hint of red in every oh, page. That's pretty. Yeah. It's definitely not safe for work on some things, but the art is great. And the story's great about how she has fallen in with a crime boss and what, what that leads to. Uh, it's a whole thing. Wait, can you not do overviews about books with uh, more? Uh... I skip those pages. Oh, I just okay. yeah, I just skip those pages and tell people it's not safe for work. Honestly, I'd consider doing a Patreon just for books like that for doing overviews that are not censored, like for people who want to have more content or stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you can do it. <laughs> you, you do it, Bar's Patreon. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but <laughs> yeah, this has a lot of not safe for work. Uh, Gun Honey is mild compared to what goes on in this book. Like, that's a nice opinion. I'm not going to listen to it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to pay. I don't want a Patreon. It's a whole other thing. Yeah. I, uh... No, I get it. Yeah. I get it. It's too much. I barely get things done as it is. Um, <laughs> the uh, let's oh, I'll do a tiny onion book. Nice house on the lake. I want to read that. I actually I, want to buy that one. It's now it, it. This is only. I mean, it's a deluxe edition, so it's very beautiful. It's only half the stories, which I didn't oh. find out until the very end, which is fine. That just means I have to wait for the ending and that'll probably be two years from now i highly recommend it because it's <laughs> tinian is i just he is an author that i will immediately pick up anything of yeah. at this point i i don't even question it anymore and he puts out so much stuff and it's all top notch um like nine people find themselves at an incredible house like in the middle of Wisconsin uh, and they're all uh, related, uh, not related they, they're all friends of this one particular guy, Walter through different places, through college, through like meeting in bars uh, as friends and he has invited it turns out he has invited them to <laughs> I don't want to spoil that. Uh, I, some of the stuff I can't show just because it'll spoil it. Um, but it's an amazing house with everything you ever want to do in life. Um, and he's chosen certain kinds of people that represent groups like scientists, a scientist, an artist, a writer, things like that. Um, uh and they are while they are there there's no cell phone service or anything but they find out that like the end of the world is happening and ha why has walter gotten them to all come there they don't even remember getting there 
So mm. they all get to know each other, their personality conflicts. There are, um, there's, uh, Walter is uh, a very complicated person, it turns out, and he has his motivations for getting them there while the world ends. And it's all about their uh, discovery of what's happening, their discovery of what Walter is and who he is. And it's they're trying to deal with each other while the world ends uh, outside and around them, but they're protected from it. Like, so, does this house have, like, an effect on them? Like, they don't remember how they got there or why they got there? Something's had an effect on them. Like, it's a supernatural kind of touch to it. Yeah, you. I don't, mm, with, you, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, so I'll say, yeah, I'll say supernatural. Something's affected them where they all get there and they realize they, you know, they know each other from other places, but they don't remember arriving there. And the house is equipped with like everything you need to keep you uh, um, to keep you engaged and happy. You know, food, video games, books, movies, TV, blah blah blah. Everything that you think you'd want if you could hunker down in your house while the world ends. Um, but. It ended on a cliffhanger, so I don't really know how it gets resolved. I do highly recommend it, um, but realize that you're going to be dropped off at the very end, and then you're going to have to wait. If you're a collector like I am, hardcover collector, collected editions guy, it's going to be a while before this gets resolved, so... Yeah, Two but I, I, don't, I don't care, like, following, continuing a series, like, digitally, uh, monthly... So yeah, I might buy that. I I, I buy a, a a lot of the some of the books that I buy like are are books that I already read digitally, but I really like them. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it's <laughs> and it's uh, the art is great, and it's really about how the people interact with each other. It's kind of a social experiment. That's yeah, happening. I like the art in that one. Yeah, it's super. So, for my next series, um uh, it's actually I don't know if it's a sh if I'm cheating because it's basically multiple books. Oh no, that's okay. Um, it's the Descender Ascender series. I actually this one was a FOMO buy for me. This was <laughs> unavailable for some years and I heard nothing but good things about it and every time I looked it up it was unavailable 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 and so when they reprinted them I was like I need to order this I need to order this 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 is finally available after waiting for so long so this was a FOMO uh a FOMO buy more than a year ago I believe and I'm not ready yet so I, you and will I be, love. You will be I, pleased with that. It's really good. Oh, you've read that? I have read I it. Have. Yeah. I love the art on. This. Yeah, is I think it's Dustin Wynn. So yeah, the art's beautiful. amazing. All watercolors. Oh yeah, it just looks so good. Yeah, I it's a more... really interesting premise. I like sci-fi and. Admittedly, I don't read enough um, comic book sci-fi, so mm. I need to read this. This is this is this has been long coming. I I see it on my shelf daily, and I feel judged by it, <laughs> and I'm kind of tired of it. <laughs> I need to read this just to get it off my chest. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you're feeling judged. That's great. J <laughs> Jacob asked, "Nice on the lake was it? This is all twelve issues, but it turns out it's on. It's ongoing. I thought it was complete. Um, so it's still ongoing, unless he's just going to not answer what's happening. But I don't think that's um, 
I don't, I, yeah, I think it's continuing. Uh, I've heard about the closet, but I haven't seen it available to order yet, collected wise, collection wise. Maul says, Great to see Bar on a stream. Hi, Maul, a Thank big you. fan. Oh, <laughs> YP, good. I was also wary of Gun Honey for the cheesecake covers, but it really is a fun story. Bar, <laughs> I'm judging you. YP and I well, are let's judging be real. you. Let's be real. <laughs> the cheesecake on the covers does not even come close to what I've seen in the book. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. You're not wrong, Elon. <laughs> if you think Gun Honey's not safe for YouTube, I couldn't even show some of Noir Burlesque. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're back to Eurovision up here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, YP. I'm going to do a read-through. Uh, I'm doing my X-Men read-through. I've actually started it. And then I'm going to do the Batman read-through so I can get up to speed on Batman. And I need to catch up a little bit on Superman. Eurovision, Eurovision, Eurovision. Walk Through Hell was amazing. I have the hardcover too. Good, good. Eurovision, Eurovision. Okay. Da, da, da. Walk Through Hell dun, dun, is freaky. Dun, dun, dun. Good, good, good. Uh, Maybe we should get on with some of the last books. I have three books left. Okay. And then we could do um, what you have left. Or you can even continue after I live. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll do that. What? So, okay. There's lots of love for the Descender Ascender books. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things for this series. And it, it looks great. And I love Jeff Lemire. He's a fantastic writer. So the book's that mad with you, Bar. She's done. You're taking <laughs> you're taking too long. The oh, the closet is out. Is a trade only. Mimetic by Tinyan is quite good too. Oh. Mm. Mimetic. That sounds familiar, but I don't think I own it yet. Good to see you, Reap. Okay. Um, I Reaper X. I'm currently reading Hawkeye and Black Cat and a prose book that I actually bought yesterday and I'm already halfway through it and I, I swear every time I do that I feel the books of my shelves judging me which is why it's actually very important to do this stream today <laughs> <laughs> tell your books that you're really making an effort let them know I'm trying <laughs> here I'm trying here yeah, I'm, I do feel guilty. I tend to do that, um, to just find suddenly find book out of a, the random that just I stri strikes interest in me. And I just write it. I just read it on the spot. And yeah, I, I, it happens the same with prose. I have so many prose here that I've not read yet. And I just bought this book digitally and instantly started reading it. And I'm halfway through it. That's and good. What, That's a great I, I know time. My you love it like, so much. Yeah, it's a really fun series. Um, so let me get on with the last three books that I have here. Um, so I think, I, I believe you've read them as well. Okay. Um, this one. <laughs> My book of the year last year. Yeah. Love that I book. I actually started that one, but then I felt like I'm in the wrong mood to read mm. it. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like you kind of need to be in a in a headspace <laughs> in a certain headspace to really enjoy this book because uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of our more serious take on superman yeah it um, is i love the premise it's a bit like the spider-man story um the... by uh chips darsky life story oh where life he story. ages uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I like that kind of premise. And obviously, I'm a big fan of Alred's art. Um, so I do need to read this. But it's the kind of book that you kind of need to just be in the right mood to read yeah. it. Yeah. So I, I, it's, I don't really have a certain spot in my, in my stack that I'm like, I'll read it then. No, you just need to be in a very specific headspace. Yeah. And it's funny. It's it. It can be seen as almost not a Superman book. Um, I, when you're done with it, I'll I'll tell you what I mean by that. I don't want to say 
what I mean by that yet. It obviously it's Is nothing it but um if, if you watch my review on it, I spoil it a little. I don't spoil it as much as I tell you what I think it's really about. And I don't want mm. to say what it's really about without um without your having read it. Okay. So I'll wait till you're done with it. So don't okay. watch my review on it either. But I will say from what I've read, even though I didn't feel like I was in the right mood, I could tell that this is a little written and just an interesting story. I just didn't feel like I was ready to read it at that moment. That's all. Um, next is oh. Wonder Room and Dead Earth. Great book. I've read Heard that. So many great things about this one. You've got a great stack of shame. It's all bangers, as Ami <laughs> would say. I'm setting myself up for some good time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about this one, um, along with Wonder Woman Historia. Um, and I bought them together, actually. Um, actually, I bought these and Historia and Lonely City together. Mm. I read Historia and Lonely City one after the other and loved them. Those are top-notch books. Yeah, I'm glad you read them. Um, You're reading quality but... stuff. I highly approve of this. <laughs> highly approve. <laughs> and for some reason, I didn't get to this one yet. I don't know why. I just I, I instantly put it on the shelf, and I guess I kind of forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I continue to see people online say that this is a really good Wonder Woman story. I like the premise. I I like this kind of post apocalyptic um mm -hmm. story stories. Um, and I like the art. I feel like it, it, it sends, it sets a vibe for the series. And I really like it. Yeah. His art is crazy. Good. Really, really good. So this is another one I'm really looking forward to read. Um, I tried to make it so, except for maybe Descender, Ascender and, um, Elias to kind of keep the the stories uh, kind of short stories and also a one and done, except for uh, the sender. So this seemed like a really good option to just like a one and done story that is just good <laughs> from what I know. It's just good. Yeah. So this one and very last one. I don't know what you felt about this if you've read it even. Um, but the last one is Invisible Kingdom. Oh, I read that a while ago and loved it. I have that giant yeah. edition. Yeah. It's this very is the library, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh is that G. Willow Wilson? That's G. Willow Wilson. Yeah. It is really good. It's it's not complicated, but it it's got a lot of moving parts. It's excellent though. I yeah, I I, it's been a while since I've read it, so I probably need to reread it. It's Again, really good. Sci-fi. I love sci-fi. I love aliens. I love um, space stories. Um, I love gays, and apparently this has gays in it. So good. Gays? That's a bonus. A y s. Yes. yes. Gay people. Gay people. Yeah. Okay. Not G a z e. Okay. <laughs> Rahul bought Invisible Kingdom on Bar's suggestion, but she hasn't even read it yet. No, I showed him the art. Rahul oh. loves art. He tends to buy books just based on art. And he asked me, and I showed him the art, and that's okay. what sold him on it. Um, and I, I bought this after I fell in love with G. Willow Wilson's writing on Poison Ivy. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm pretty sure Poison Ivy was <clears throat> my introduction to G. Willow Wilson. Fantastic introduction. Yeah. Um, I don't know how this will fare compared to poison ivy but i guess we'll see it's, i really like the art in this it's way different it's super sci-fi yeah. taking place in outer space different worlds yeah it's way sci-fi but it, it kind of has everything that i love it has <clears throat> j willow wilson fantastic art um a sci-fi setting female characters a queer love story so that's this is kind of like made for me you know in a way i really like this slick art and this and the colors so if anyone else has read it 
in the comments. Please let me know what you thought about it. About yeah, this. Chris Brogan saying he liked it. Rahul, uh, yeah, is saying he loved the art. Booster saying I want to buy Invisible Kingdom. I need a real good overview video to maybe pull the trigger. Oh, is that right? Hmm. I will tell you, if you're going to buy it, get the big library edition. The the uh, Dark Horse library editions are so beautiful. And they're cheap. I think they really pay a lot of respect to the artists. And, and this art deserves it. They're even really without, affordable. Yeah. Too. And even without reading like the story, I think the art in this deserves like the very big... Um, the very big edition, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I picked up on what you were saying, <laughs> Booster. I'll do an overview <laughs> of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can do it for my next overview. I'll, I'll do that this week. Um, we have oh, a yeah, lot of questions. Of shame. We have a lot of questions, but Barr has to be bolting here soon. Let me make sure we get to Reaper's question because it's a good question. How long do you have left in training for your emergency services job? Graduation will be exciting. People are invested in you. Emergency that... services. I'm I'm a police officer. Yeah, I I <laughs> I was kind of wondering about that. She's a she's a cop. <laughs> um, like, I I I, I always have courses, but yeah, I just I just finished one course. I I, I already did two courses actually. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a police officer. Um, okay, good. Well, that, I'm glad that cleared that up for reap. And here's, here's the last question. This is a good question. Cause it's a Harley question. Who would you like next to draw, write and col color with the big U in there to show us he's from color. Australia, Harley Quinn. She's in the first arc of Thompson's words of prey. I know bar is reading it in case you're on the fence about it i'm not on the fence anything kelly thompson writes is a-okay with me i buy anything kelly thompson writes before he even mentioned kelly thompson my mind went kelly thompson <laughs> i mean birds of prey not just birds of prey even her uh short story that she did for harley queen black plus um white plus redder that's actually i think that harley has the respect of being the very first DC character that Kelly Thompson wrote. That was the very first uh, wrote for DC. Sorry, that was the first thing that she wrote and DC mm. published uh, with Kelly Thompson. And I think that's a big respect for Harley that she's the yeah, first, very first thing she wrote that. for DC. And it's because she really loves the character. She she said that she that it was an honor for her to start um, with her favorite characters. Um, both with Harley and then with Birds of Prey and Harley being there. And I really, I don't know if you've read I the first few issues of Birds of Prey. So good. Man, so, so good. I probably You'll have them all because of the covers it. that I've co collected. I probably Dude, have them all. <laughs> you'll how, love it so much. How many issues are out? Uh, Four or seven five? Or eight? Seven or eight? Uh, yeah. Um, you're, you're behind, man. You're well, behind. I don't need singles, I, except I still have them. Um, there are series out there that I think are worth it. Yeah. Like, worth following monthly. And this is one of them. I, I mean, I, I sold Rahul on it, and he absolutely fell in love with it. Good. Fantastic art, especially for the first um, six, uh, sorry, five of the six first issues. I don't remember the name of the artist and the colorist but so good like they they're a team up together um of this artist and this colorist in these five issues was some of the best i've seen in recent years in comics it feels very vintage like very old school comics but also modern hmm. like the art feels modern but then the colors add a vintage um touch to it and it just looks so good and Add that with um, Kelly Thompson's phenomenal writing and amazing character dynamics that she sets right from the beginning, like right from the very first issue. I, like, there's not much that I can say except Chef's Kiss. Like, this series has been nothing, nothing but greatness so far. Oh, I'm that's really, I'm genuinely sad 
that Harley is not going to be in the rest of the series. What? Yeah, she's only in the first six issues. And it sucks because this must be the best writing for Harley in recent years, in my opinion. Wow, okay. I I loved Stephanie Phillips' Harley, and I think that yeah. it even trumps that. Wow, that's a big statement. Yeah. I, I think she does a really good job at making Harley a funny person, but also make her feel human. Mm -hmm. And also like an adult, I, I, I feel like some artists, uh, some writers feel that if they're going to write Harley as funny and energetic, then she must be a little childish yeah. or a little stupid. She's not stupid. She's very smart. She's actually yeah. helps the team quite a lot. Oh, good. And she's very smart. She's very witty. And she develops such a sweet friendship, especially her interactions with, with Dinah. I'm going to miss it. It's so funny. So funny. She just loves trolling D Dinah. <laughs> and I'll Dinah have to read that on the app. Her. Huh? I'm going to read that on the app then. I'll catch up on the DC. Uh, I just know you love it so much. You're, I know you're, after you'll finish those issues, you're going to message me. What did you do to me? <laughs> now I have to wait for the next few issues. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll I'll finish this. We said Kelly Thompson. I'd pick. I love the artist for Poison Ivy, the mm. art. So I I can't. Uh, t it's not Tamaki. What is the? Marchio Takara. Takara. Okay, thank you. I'd pick. I'd pick that person to draw Harley yeah. Quinn, or I could pivot and say Mark Russell, Mike Allred, and Laura Allred. Mm. I would love to see something by them on Harley Quinn. I kind of want to see Terry Dotson back. Oh, Terry and Rachel yeah. Dotson. Yeah, that'd be a good use of their talents on I our think gal. Terry, I think Terry does more. Dotson does more. Uh, uh, at least from what I see, does more covers these days. It seems like yeah. it. It doesn't yeah. do as much interiors, which sucks because I really miss his art. Yeah, especially on Harley. I love the way he draws her. Now, is there any chance we're going to see another piece of cake before you go? I don't think so. I'm pretty. I'm, it's ten o'clock here. I'm pretty sure my mom went to bed. <laughs> oh well, can't you go in the kitchen and grab another piece? Um, I'm kidding. Hmm. You you <laughs> you really want some cake, don't you? I, I'll ship it off yeah, to you. I I, I'll I ship may it to James and he'll send it to you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well. I know you have to go, but thank you so much for the birthday presents. I say it plurally. You're welcome. They they are awesome. Where'd my duck go? Oh, here's my duck. Uh, for those of you just joining, uh, okay, where'd I put those books? I can actually with... answer a few more questions if there's anything oh, else in okay. here. Like just a few more more minutes. Oh, I just want to make sure I get. Readers, viewers caught up. Bar sent me birthday gifts. Yes. The Harley so dog. Isn't it cute? Very cute. And you're going to put it on your streams. I'm going to put it right like, here. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Over here, she can be seen better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not blocking her. And she sent me two <laughs> books. So thank you so much for your kind birthday gifts. And part what? two comes next week. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, you can answer more questions. Let's see. Somebody was asking, okay, uh, are Mount Rushmore of female writers? Mm. <laughs> Gail <laughs> Simone. I think that Gail Simone kind of has to be there, doesn't she? Yeah, I don't see how you could leave her off. Rachel Pollock, I will put her there mostly because... She, I feel like she was in this industry where there were much fewer writers, uh, writers, writers, <laughs> writers, and artists. <laughs> you can see I'm tired. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and she, from what I know, she made some magic work in the time that she was uh, that she was part of DC. Um, so I I'll put her there as well. Is Mount Rushmore only three people? It's four. four. And then he says we can have an honorable mention. I 
I have not read any of Rachel Pollock's stuff, but I that's fine for your Mount, Mount Rushmore. Uh, um, so you get I, you get three I more. I don't necessarily go for like the, the the writers that I love the most, or like I go more for I don't know writers who maybe made a bit of a change in a comic Tra world. Trailblazers. Or, yeah, I, iconic writers. You yeah. Know, trailblazers. Okay. Yeah. And I think Gail Simone also did yeah, sure. there. She she wrote some of the most popular uh characters in DC Comics and Marvel as well. And she has quite a long legacy in the comics world. That's a good way to put um, it. I like where you're yeah. going with this. I mm. love where you're going with this. Thing is, with female writers, there's more prominent ones in recent years, in the yeah. past 20 years. So a lot of them, like you don't have like a Stanley female writer, you know, uh, from like the 60s or 50s. So I, I think it's also fair to add some more current young writers. I think Kelly Thompson is doing some incredible work. Um, and I do think that she's also a trailblazer. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> trailblazer. Tra well, the, it, it's uh, trailblazers are. Um, I guess that's kind I'm of tired. an American. It, it's maybe it's an American word. Um, it's people that uh, cleared the path for others to follow. Yeah. So trailblazer, I was right. I said yeah. it correctly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I feel that she's also uh, a trailblazer. Um, Mm, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to really not be like biased and necessarily go for um, Amanda Connor. I can say I, she's more of a art, an artist than a writer, but I think she also deserves some respect for her iconic work. I mean, she's very well known in the comic book world. There's no one who like reads comics and doesn't know about Amanda Connor. She's yeah. drawn basically every female. And male <laughs> character in the DC universe. Um, so well, she so co, put her she co writes with her husband, Palmiati, a lot. So true. I, she, I think she, she, be on she there. partakes in creating the stories. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah, you can say that. Yeah, sure. She's, an, uh, um, she's a writist. She's an arter. She's a writist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. She's a writist. Yeah, she's the writest of writists. She does both. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this was a little more difficult for me as well, again, because most of the female writers that I think are most well-known today and are putting out incredible things are more current writers. I mean, again, <clears throat> Gail Simone even was at a time that there were barely any female writers. So she was truly a trailblazer um, since the early 2000s. Who would you say is a, a female a female writer who's a trailblazer? Gosh, now you put me on the spot. Um, uh, maybe the chat will help me. Nancy Collins. Uh, she mm. Louise Simonson. That's a good one. She was back when there were hardly any. She helped with Superman a lot. I remember that. She was in the writer's room for Death of Superman. Oh, um, was she? Yeah. I didn't know uh, that. Yeah. Um, uh, You should also mention Joe Duffy. I'm not familiar with a lot of Joe Duffy stuff. Oh, Anne Nascenti. Yeah, she was writing, I think, Louise mm. Simonson and Anne Nascenti. If we're talking Trailblazers, her Daredevil, I really like. That's the only thing I collect in Epics, is her, which is guaranteeing an omnibus for everybody. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, I actually heard about that quite a lot. Yeah, her Daredevil, I like it. She uh, uh, created uh, Typhoid Mary which um, is, is a big Daredevil uh, character. Um, so I can also mention Tamaki, who was the first female writer to write Batman, if I'm not mistaken. She wrote uh, the De Detective Comics. She was the first female writer to write a Batman ongoing. It's kind of crazy they took them over 70 years, but it <laughs> happened. Uh, 80 e years, sorry. 
e viewing is gonna be uh, has been rewarded with a an X Men book that she's writing. Uh, Marjorie Liu, yeah, we'll get. Yeah, um, she's great. Uh, I'll be getting to Marjorie Liu's stuff after Bar leaves because I need to report on Night Eaters. I was uh, actually if, debating whether to put Monstrous Volume Two on this. Oh, I need to read that too. I my thing with this book that I've read Volume One such a long time ago, and I don't remember how it ended. But I'm also Same. a little too lazy to go <laughs> back. <laughs> So I'm like putting it off. I love that series. I love now that it's really judging you. Now that it knows you're lazy, that book's way judging you. <laughs> uh, Jim Shooter said getting Louis Simonson over to Marvel helped him get other creators to Marvel that were otherwise hesitant working for them. Uh, yeah, Mariko Tamaki, yeah. Wendy Peeney, ElfQuest. The only Nordic person in the Will Eisner Hall of Fame. Nice. Mm. Love Tamaki Supergirl. That Supergirl book was astonishingly awesome. So good. A little disgusting with like her <laughs> popping her. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. <laughs> yeah, that was gross. But that's a great series. I, oh, I, yeah, I these... like when they put superheroes in more of a normal setting like a school and stuff like that it gives us a bit of a more human view into these characters yeah uh colleen doran Kilo she's Walden, been yeah. at it for a long colleen time doran. yeah you're right good Kilo Walden is also uh one that i was thinking whether to put her 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 book on this list but it's a more recent buy so i decided to not to yeah that's why uh, Richard wants to say thanks for your service as a police officer. Stay blessed and keep reading great books. Thank you. I will. I, according to Jess, my stacks of shame, uh, I'm going to have some great reading coming up. Oh, you picked a great stack of shame. It's not judging you. That stack is very excited right now. No, it's judging me that I've not read this great book so far. Until but, now. They're, but they're excited you're going to. That's true. Yeah. All right. I actually do got to go. Um, Peace and love. And it's been great seeing you. I'm so glad you were able to join. And I can't wait to see you again. You're awesome. Thank you. I, I, I really love this. And I hope we can do this again sometime Thank soon. Thank you again for the birthday presents and for just being my friend. I, I love having you as a friend. You're a great person. And uh, uh, you shine like a diamond. That's a good way to <laughs> uh -huh. put it. Thank you. Toda raba, Esti. No. <laughs> what? What? Baya shoteret bar. Thank you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Multilingual <laughs> people are just amazing. And everybody's he just saying. Buy cop bar. Buy cop bar. bar. Yes. Okay, uh, so I, I got to go, get out. So I'll see you guys. This was a lot of fun. And hopefully we'll be able to do this again soon. And maybe I'll update y'all on this reading list. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> the Israeli y'all. The Israeli y'all. So <laughs> bye. Have a good day or a Thanks good night. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Uh, okay, so it's just me now. So I will go... Um, Everybody loves Bar. Good. Yeah, we all dig Bar. She's awesome. Um, I can keep going for a couple minutes and show you the rest of my stack of shame, and I'll just tell Bar about it. Because uh, it's just a couple more books, and by couple, I mean like six. Uh, let's see. Here's one that I read... Her Little Reapers. This is by the team Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda that did Monstrous. Um, I I know I included this, the first one, She Eats the Night, on my books of best books of 2023. So I don't want to spoil it too much. Uh, I had to reread a little bit of She Eats the Night so I could uh, have context for Her Little Reapers. Volume three of this is coming out this year uh later this year and these came with a very nice signed uh book plate uh 
Uh, it's basically, I don't even think I had to say this. Chinese immigrants, the, the mom and dad live across the street from like a hell house that can't be sold. The mom and dad have twin kids, boy and girl, man, woman, teenagers, maybe early 20s. It's during the pandemic. They're trying to get their own takeout food place going in New York City, I feel like. But the real drama happens when they enter the house from hell and then they discover the teenagers discover the true nature of what they are and what their parents are. I'm going to try and not spoil anything. Here's the dad in his early days as a, at a cookout, the art of course, and there's the mom with this ever present cigarette. Um, I'm trying to show, okay. Yeah. This doesn't spoil anything. The art is fantastic. The story's fantastic. If you like the supernatural, you will love this book. It's super supernatural. Uh, I can't say enough about this book. But it does end on a cliffhanger because book three is coming out. So I dug that book. The book that I read for my stack of shame. Then I read the second part of another three-parter. That's Dark Ride. Uh, the first one was Hell Ticket. And the second one is Family Horror. I know it's Josh Williamson. He's finishing this up this year. It's about uh, like if Disneyland was all about hell and Satan and the devil. And the kids' names are Sam Hain and Halloween. Um, and it's all about the secrets they find. Uh, and what truly is driving the success of their popular um, uh, uh, park, um, uh, you know, rides and stuff. What am I trying to say here? So they are, um, <laughs> uh, okay, I will. I was just sent ground coffee from Gio. So I'm going to be trying Puerto Rican coffee. Actually, I love Puerto Rican coffee. Gio sent me it before, and I'll be drinking some today. Uh, it is a cool series. It's It gets into the family dynamics of running a, a successful attraction park, and there are deaths that occur. So a woman, ha a police investigator is involved. There is. Um, a, a, a YouTuber that is uh, investigating it and he disappears and there's all sorts of very eerie, crazy, weird things that happen. Uh, it's the scariest place on earth and it's okay. I can't show that because it would give something away. Uh, I don't show that, uh, but the kids get involved because their dad is up to something. He's a bit of uh, a hermit. He hides away and creates things. And uh, it turns out he made a deal that maybe isn't in the kid's best interest for the success of the park. We're going to have to see with book three. Um, then I have another tiny onion book who can't stop writing, he's so awesome, Department of Truth. The, <laughs> this also is continuing, and I didn't... Um, it, it doesn't end on a cliffhanger as much as you uh, find out that it's just going to continue. Department of Truth is in charge of the thought that if enough people believe a conspiracy... This is in the United States, it's set. But people in Europe and everywhere else can enjoy it too. But if enough people believe a conspiracy, it can actually become real unless the Department of Truth gets a hold of it and squishes it while it's brewing. And there's all kinds of interesting art 
The writing, of course, is crazy great. But it deals even with things like Bigfoot and Sasquatch. It covers all the conspiracies you could probably ever want. And it's a kid that gets recruited into the Department of Truth and how he is dealing with what he actually has to do in the Department of Truth. Um, a a tiny Onion, I do not understand how he is able to keep putting out so many great books at such a rapid pace. Thank God for James Tiny Onion. He's awesome. Uh, last three books. Detective Chimp. Very Silver Age. Very Silver Age. Even I struggled with this one. This one's, you can read a chapter a day. That's about it. Detective Chimp is a chimp that solves crime for this detective in Florida. Now, the art's great. It's all Carmine Infantino art, uh, but it's super silver agey. Super silver agey. And I'm saying that as a fan of the silver age. So be aware. It's not the current detective chimp who smokes a cigar and is in Justice League Dark. No. Uh, Murphy's Batman Beyond the White Knight. This was awesome. It dealt with uh, Batman Beyond. And um, there's plenty of Bruce Wayne. Uh, this is in the Murphyverse. This is awesome. I love the Murphyverse. I think the next one I'm getting is Generation Joker. It involves uh, Terry McGinnis and Bruce Wayne. And this is Batman Beyond for you Batman Beyond fans, which I still haven't seen yet. But now I know who he is. Uh, set in the Murphyverse. And it's awesome. Uh, and the last book... Cullen Bunn's Regression, the complete collection. Uh, how do I describe this? Um, it's a horror story because it's Cullen Bunn. A guy goes through past life regression. And as he discovers his past lives, when he comes back, um, he brings something with him. Let me read the description. Plagued by ghastly waking nightmares, Adrian reluctantly agrees to past life regression here from the therapy. As his consciousness is cast back through time, Adrian witnesses a scene of horrific debauchery and diab diabolism. There's a lot in here that I probably wouldn't show because it's so gory and icky. Uh, it's It can be <laughs> really gross, but it's... Very engrossing. Um, I loved it. it. It's a definite horror book uh, that I I just dug. Uh, I can show this. This is fine. Um, it's Cullen. I think it's one of Cullen Bunn's better books, and I loved Harrow County. Uh, so I, if you're into horror, grisly horror, this is the book for you. Very well told. Very gorily illustrated and that is it for my stack of shame that bar helped me with good you're gonna enjoy it night eaters is awesome booster you're gonna love it tip is in the new jsa too not sure i can be convinced to read the casebook i'm not suggesting you get it at all hey mr tex what up <laughs> dupes looking away do see the madness. Oh, he's not. He doesn't want to see it. Oh, good, Rahul. Yeah, I need to get to more reading, too. Oh, you're not listening. You're just watching. Uh, let's see. White Knight. Yeah. Moon and Agrees. Department of Truth was crazy good. Spooey's got it. You should read it. You should read it. It's really good. Dark Ride will end with issue 12. Okay, that'll be the next trade paperback. 
Um, I don't know that I'm going to be picking up any DC finest because it's just, they aren't complete stories. They are like greatest hits. As far as I can tell, they are a collection of that character's greatest hits. If some of them are complete stories and I don't already own them, then I'd be happy to pick them up. It is a cool series. Dark Ride is a cool series. By Silver Age, you mean it has more than two sentences per page? Dude. It's got... <laughs> yeah, it's wordy. It's wordy, wordy. Words upon words. And we listen to... Ooh, e ooh. I don't want to be a, a, a gorillaist or a chimpist, but yeah, we get a lot of detective chimp thinking to himself that he's got to help. Uh, it's it's only it, this is I'm a hardcore Silver Age guy, so it's only for me. I I don't know that it's for anybody else. Sorry, DC, I I love you, but I I I can't do that to my audience. Four Birds of Prey, read the new. I have both of those, Booster. I can do it all. I can read all three of those. I have Stargirl and I have the JSA book. Spirit World Vigil and City Boy 2. Wait. Oh, that's from. Uh, is that the. Wait. Is that the Sigil series? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm reserving judgment. If it's complete stories and I don't own them, then yeah. But if it's just greatest hits, I'm less excited. I'm going to wait to see uh, what... Um... Wait, do I even own these, Booster? What are these? Oh, I ordered Doom Patrol. I I got lots of people... What is it? Unstoppable Doom Patrol? Like the Unstoppable Bar? Um, yeah, I ordered it. So I want to get that too. <laughs> Both. I have several shirts, but it, I was cold. So I could, I had to put a sweater on. Uh, that's fair though. You should be appalled, Mr. Tax. That looks like the original Doom Patrol that I've been reading. I can only read like an issue at a time. I, Silver Age Doom Patrol, I yeah, I get what you're saying, Chris, but I will give DC credit for even putting that out when they did because Doom Patrol's a crazy, interesting sci-fi story that I thought was well-written, but yeah, I, I think modern readers... I can read more than one issue of a time for Doom Patrol, but modern readers probably cannot. So yeah, that's fair. I, I get it. Oh, Kane's here. Hey, Kane. Just arrived home from work. You missed Barr. She just left half an hour, 20 minutes ago. She was great, but you can watch the whole thing afterwards. And I have batter days tonight at 8 with Kristen, Reed, and Mary M. And Kristen has and Reed have something to say. Mary M does too, but it's not like what Kristen and Reed have to say. Unless Mary M's been holding out on me. Everybody's saying hi to Kane. Everybody loves Kane. And you know where they love Kane? In my Discord. Those three books are the new DC. Oh, trade's coming out this month. New DC Asian Heroes. Okay, keep reminding me, Booster. I will definitely get those. Thank you. The Wonder Woman line. Okay, good. The Wonder Woman book from the finest line is the entire Gail Simone run. Okay, I already own the Omnibus. So that's, but that's good that those are complete stories. I was, I hadn't picked up on that, even though I did a, a whole DC show with Omar, uh, but I didn't pick up on that. Okay, good. You and Bar would love Spirit World, think you'll really dig the character. Okay. 
Okay, that's what Discord chatters were. Discord. Oh, good. You need to be there to hear the announcement from Reed and Kristen. Uh, seriously? I did a review and overview of it in my uh, on my channel early on. Early on, James, can you work your magic and find Silver Age Doom Patrol? I have it right here. I read it. Oh, it's a chonky monster. Uh, following the Golden Age of Comics, Legends there Heroes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. The, it's, it's science fiction-y stuff with Robot Man, Elastigirl, Negative Man, uh, Robot Man. It's just the three of them? Yeah. They're the strangest superheroes you can read, but this is the wall of text you'll be reading. <laughs> it, is it great? Yeah, but it's great to me because I grew up reading these stories. For the modern reader, I don't know. It's, it's really wordy. There's there's not even hardly any ex, uh, caption boxes, word caption boxes. It's just a wall of word balloons. So I can I can make it through it. But oh, and here's a gorilla. Oh, that's a uh, that's what's his name. Monsieur, Monsieur Ape, what's his name? Monsieur, what's his name? He's got a brain and acts through a gorilla. So, of course, it's crazy. Monsieur Mala, there it is. So, I, I don't know if I can sell you on Doom Patrol. It's a chonky book. It's a hundred, was it a hundred bucks? Yeah, it was a hundred bucks. I like it. I don't know that you guys will. It's a lot of reading. I mean, if Chris is only able to read a story a day, you know, the rest of us are even struggling. Okay, Booster's checking out. Good to see you, Booster. Uh, apparently there was an earthquake, but I didn't feel it. I think it was in the early morning. It was centered in New Jersey, <clears throat> but it was felt here. It was a four point something. I grew up in California. I don't get out of my chair for anything less than a 6.0. I sat through a 5.5 back in 2011 in a coffee shop here in Virginia. Earthquakes are very rare here, but when they happen, they, they, they happen. I didn't even leave my chair while everybody else cleared out of the cafe. I'm like, this is nothing. Even though it messed up the Washington Cathedral and the Washington Monument. Up oh, there we go. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yes. Oh, is it out of print? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But what Chris has read so far has been fun. Yes, Monsieur Mala and the brain. Now, Kane is up there. I did feel the aftershock too. White House Station is about 40 miles from me. Okay, so you were close to the epicenter. I asked because I've heard some people say Silver Age and Bronze Age Doom Patrol was a knockoff X-Men, even though they literally came out the exact same time. Uh, they were team books that were different. I don't, they, I don't know that they, Doom Patrol deals with the, I think the original premise, of course, ever since it was done was the uh, anti-mutant bias. And that's why they banded together. I think these guys banded together under Professor, Professor Nile, Niles Cauldron, uh, because he could help them and they help fight crime 
and uh, he was able to help them. Uh, I think he put Cliff's brain in his robot body. So um, I, 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 I don't think it's a knockoff X-Men. Mm, yeah, Monsieur Mala's all through the Silver Age. Oh, you go panel to panel. Okay. I'm in Albany County, New York. I was telecommuting. I didn't feel it, but my mother and co-workers told me they did. Okay. No, one guy in a wheelchair. Oh, X-Men? Yeah. Okay. Two two guys in a wheelchair. Yeah. Sells for 125 to 250 on eBay. Please don't pay that. Don't wait till it comes back into reprint and it's at Ollie's and you can get it for 30 bucks or something. You don't. It's not uh no. Don't don't anybody pay 250 for it. Yeah, they did. Okay, well, I've got a show tonight at 8 o'clock, so I need to go rest and uh, do a little meditation and get my head on straight and eat something because I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Uh, so peace and love. Thank you to everyone who joined. I appreciate everybody. Thank you for everything. I love everyone. You're all great. Um, you give me a reason to go on living, and I'm not even exaggerating with that. You guys are really great. Yeah, please join the Discord. And I love you all. I appreciate everything. Oh, wait. Since Kane's here, let's do this one thing. Here you go, Kane. One more time. There we go. Okay, so I will use my theme song to play me out. Peace and love. Peace and love. Hope to see you all here back at 8 o'clock. Thank you.